All right, guys, I'm gonna show you uh, something a little different that I use for crappie bait. And I really like this little bait. It's actually a bass bait, and it's really not designed uh, for crappie. However, it will catch crappie. But uh, I'm here at Walmart, and let me, let me show you what I like to use. So we'll come over here and we'll get these gulp. These are three inch. And basically, uh, you can cut this down however you want to, but it's the gulp three inch. It's called the blue shiner, mint blue shiner. And we're gonna catch a limited crappie with these. Stay tuned. What's up guys? Just getting out here, fixing to drop the trolling motor and start pulling these slabs in the boat. Enjoy. All right guys, we're out here with our gulp minnows. This one here is the blue shiner. They come in three inches and I usually cut it down just a little bit, but they come scented. And uh, from what I've really noticed, the crappie have a hard time resisting this bait. So you can catch, you can catch half a limit on this bait and it holds up and it, from my opinion, it, it holds up twice as good as any other soft plastics out there. So I like to use it because I save money and that, that right there will probably last me 20 plus trips. So basically what I'll do, I'll get this minnow here and I'm gonna cut about that much off of it. And that's gonna leave me with about yay much. And depending on how they're biting, If it's a real finicky bite, you can uh, you can cut even more than that off of it. But this plastic is a whole lot harder than regular uh, soft plastic for minnows. And as you can see, it's an excellent color. But we're gonna drop it down and see exactly what happens. We got a little brush pile under here. So let's see. Pile right under the boat. We'll try to drop it right in there. And just like that, we got a fish. It's the first fish of the day. It's a beautiful little keeper crappie. And you can do this a hundred times and this jig is gonna last you. So as far as colors and all that, sometimes I don't put much faith and all of that, you know, I understand if the water's muddy and unclear, but I like to keep it simple. I'll get a couple baits and I'll stick with it. So enjoy some of this footage. We're gonna keep catching them out of this little pile. And, uh, and I'm gonna try to do it in, in real time as much as I can, unless they slow down. But I wanna show you exactly how many this will catch. Oh. 
we've got uh, we got three in the boat, and our limit's 25, and then we're gonna go catch a limit of white bass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it right into this pile. People think that it's crazy using a bass bait to catch crappie. And I'm telling you, is that kind of thinking is not going to get you catching many fish. So if you can always adapt, find you a bait that works, find you a bait that lasts forever. I say forever. Catch you a limit on one bait, and then you know you got a really good bait. So we're going to keep going. Big fish, big bait. Got to put the donkeys in the boat, son. Here we go. Drop it back down. I'd like to share it with everybody. So if you're watching live right now, share me on Facebook. See how many uh, views we can get going. We'll going be uploading it to my YouTube channel here after a while. But uh, basically, I'm trying to get my name out there because I am starting to guide. And uh, I just want to get some folks on fish and have fun doing it. A hog camera right here. It's what we call a slab. Really hook too. If you want to catch some fish, hook me up or hit me up, and I'll put you on these too. Just as fast as you can pull them up. We've got a lot of people uh, buying crappie baits, and that's that's wonderful. We have so many people selling them. But what I like to tell people, you don't have to, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Uh, of course, these gulps are a little more expensive for the pack, but the amount of fish that you hook up with them, it's, you really can't compare it. And it's got a natural scent that comes with it. Minnows right now, if you can find them, are so expensive. And a decent jig that's going to last you any time, any crappie jig, they don't seem like they last the way that they used to. Sold ever. You know, I do more damage to the to the jig than, than the fish does to it. Yeah. 
like a little bit better fish, and it is. People think, oh, you're just on a on a lake, just biting. No, this is you. You can use this technique and this bait anywhere that there's crappie, and you're gonna get them to hit, and good crappie, not just little dinks. All right, we're throwing past the pile out there, and I'm usually gonna throw probably 10 feet past the pile. And then what I'll do, I'll start bringing it in slowly. Crappy gulps, bass bait, three inch, blue shiners. All right, we're on 11. Using a 10 foot B&M tree thumper. And uh, let me show you what I'm using, what rig I'm using. I use this whether I'm trolling, whether I'm, I'm just straight vertical jigging, or really it don't really matter what I'm doing. I use this setup, so. I use a 20 pound braided line and I'll stick a quarter ounce uh, weight on it and then I'll go to a clasp just like that and uh, then I'll go to a barrel swivel 10, uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon straight to my jig so basically what I was doing I was losing so much tackle that I said I need to I need to be able to cut down the amount of tackle that I'm losing you know anytime you brush fish you're gonna lose tackle so what I decided I would much rather you lose just the hook so I've got 20 pound line to a barrel swivel and a clasp and if anything breaks it's gonna be this 10 pound fluorocarbon and I lose just the hook and I'll have this leader set up where I can just button another one on and I still have my weight and I still have my clasp and it it works really well for me I lose a whole lot less fish, or a whole lot less tackle. And the 10 pound fluorocarbon works so well, I really don't have to worry about losing uh, too much. It's gotta be really bad for me to, to lose a lot of tackle. There we go. Y'all wearing them out? Come on, man. Oh, bro, they biting. They're biting? Oh, yeah. Well, we're going up the bass. Man, I hope y'all wear them out. Oh, look at here. Bass bait. 
and a brim. Very versatile bait right there. Not the species we're after today, but I take a cooler of them. 